Hey, hello there everyone. My name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing very, very well. We are still on the 1.14 snapshot. 18W43C seems to be more stable than not, to be honest with you guys. So that is why in today's episode, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on the brand new items and blocks added into the game. I'm not talking like the slabs and stairs because, you know, they're, they're, they're great and all, but, you know, they're not that interesting. We are talking about the new things, the new, new things like the loom, for example, an easy way of making your own custom banners. Uh, we've got the crossbow to look at. We've got the brand new jungle bamboo biome to look at, guys. It's going to be a fantastic day. So, guys, I hope you're excited for this episode because I really, really am. I've seen a handful of snapshot videos but i've never actually seen most of the new stuff myself in a survival world so guys what we're going to start off with is actually the crossbow because you can craft it you can craft it we have the raw ingredients for the thing right here so two iron ingots four sticks two string and some planks so if we were to head in here what we need to do is actually make a trip wire hook so if we do that then check it out guys there it is the crossbow Oh, dang, son. <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward to this. I am really, really looking forward to using this bad boy. So, the good news is we actually have ourselves an absolute ton of arrows all over the place, basically, guys. We've got mob farms all over the place. We've got freaking arrows all over the place. Probably the easiest place to get them from would be our skeleton spawner room. And we're probably going to kill two birds with one stone because also, I think it'd be a nice idea to get ourselves up to 30 levels. We're going to enchant this bad boy, a brand new crossbow, that is. And then, uh, hopefully, we can get ourselves some brand new enchantments on it. It's going to be a fantastic time, my friends. In fact, it might be a cool idea to see what we get on there first of all, right? So, yeah, we're heading down here. Uh, there's our skeleton spawner. Uh, we've got our supply of arrows here. I don't know if you could put infinity on a crossbow. I've got a feeling that you can't, but I don't know. Let's have a look. So, piercing four. Uh, so piercing, I do believe, is the equivalent of power on a bow. So we've got piercing four, uh, quick charge one, which is basically like quick draw uh, in like Call of Duty. So you can basically prepare your weapon faster to shoot, which is kind of amazing. Uh, but guys, piercing four seems like a pretty good first go. Uh, so yeah, guys, all we're going to do real quick is a quick AFK slash pwnage session of skeletons. Yes, yes, skeletons, you're going to die many times over. Oh, yes. The population's going to go down the drain, sir. <laughs> Aha! There we go, my friends. 30 levels. Uh, yep, that's looking pretty good. So let's get back over here. And yeah, we're going to put piercing four. Guaranteed. I wonder what the other enchantments are. Let's let's go and do it. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get anything else? Quick charge two. Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Does it only go to level two or does it go up to level three? I have no idea. Okay. So, oh. Okay, so it's now loaded, and boop! Whoa! Oh, Betsy! Oh, Betsy! Shoot a crossbow. Okay, well, that's pretty simple. Oh, dude, that's kind of cool. Okay, so what kind of durability does this thing have? So if we do F3 and H, uh, and if we bring out our bow real quick so we can compare them. So uh, the crossbow has a durability of 326. The bow has a durability of 384. Really? That's... Fairly surprising to me that this would have less durability than a bog standard bow, but oh well. Doesn't matter too much, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so we've got ourselves a fairly semi-decent, uh, you know, crossbow, so that's always nice to see. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I'm not entirely sure if you could put infinity on it. I know there's one enchantment that allows you to shoot like three arrows at a time, which I guess is pretty cool. So, yeah. So, there we go, my friends. The first thing we're going to showcase today is the crossbow. Pretty darn cool. Uh, so, yeah. I think probably the next thing we want to do is try to find ourselves a brand new jungle bamboo biome and hope that we can find some good old pandas. That is right, my friends. What are you doing there, sir? You are my first victim, sir. Boom! Get wrecked. Oh, wait. Did, it, did that just go straight through him? Oh, my God. The arrows go through them. And you can pick him back up. Is that a bug? Oh. Um, sir. Well, that's two episodes in a row where we've had squids literally killing themselves. I mean, I know the snapshot's buggy and all that, but you don't need to you don't need to commit suicide for goodness sake. Get out of here, you dumbos. Yeah, that's right. Go on, swim away. 
<laughs> oh dear. Alright guys, the good news is I can remember where the jungle is roughly. It's about 2,000 blocks in the northeasterly direction. So if we head over there, uh, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure just how much of the jungle biome we've explored over there. I'm hoping we haven't explored all of it. Like, to the point where we should be able to still generate some uh, some new bits of jungle, right? I mean, failing that, I guess we could just explore the world. Find some more. I don't know. It's not too bad, guys. So, yeah. Guys, let's go find ourselves a jungle bamboo forest. Yes. Alrighty. Well, there's the jungle. Our elytra durability isn't looking that good. But the good news is I'm pretty sure I've still got... <gasps> I'm pretty sure... Oh, my gosh. I think I found it. Look. Hang on a minute. Where was it? Where was it? Here. Oh. Oh, you! That's awesome! So, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, we found the jungle biome. I've got a feeling this might be a different one. I mean, we are lagging up a storm here, and I think it might be because we're generating new jungle, which, of course, is the laggiest biome. It's known for being the laggiest biome. Boop! There we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Oh! What the... What the heck? What's going on? I don't even know. Oh, look at that, guys. We've got bamboo. Okay, so apparently you can make sticks with the bamboo. I mean, that kind of makes logical sense, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Yo, I can't believe we finally found it. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a case of the old one and done deal as well. Like, if you find some, you can farm it up super freaking easy. I think I was watching uh, a Zoom Avoid snapshot video, and he made a super simple contraption with pistons, uh, whereby these things grew with bone meal, and then you could just go ahead and just pop them off. Rather similar to sugar cane, right? So, yeah. That's kind of cool. I kind of like how that one's holding up that tree. <laughs> oh, that's kind of awesome. Okay, but sadly, this is not the new bamboo forest biome, guys. We we found some bamboo. Yes, it's kind of cool. But we need to go ahead and see if we can find ourselves the actual bamboo forest. So, I mean, i got a feeling the bamboo forest is where the pandas are going to spawn as well. So, yeah. oh my goodness me, I think I found it. Oh my gosh, I can see it in the distance. Holy moly, dude. Oh my word, okay, okay. The real question is, can we find ourselves some pandas? Oh no! I just came to the realization that pandas use what? Hay bales to be lured? Ah, I don't think I'll be able to lure them back because I don't have any. Oh my gosh. Dude! Dude! We freaking found it! Yo! Oh my gosh! We found the freaking bamboo forest! Oh, hey, you get pods all here as well. Bamboo jungle. Okay, so it's just called a bamboo jungle, nice and simply. Oh, okay, so you can't walk through it either. So it's going to be kind of like a maze to get through. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, I love coming across new biomes in Minecraft, dude. Holy moly. That is so cool. Okay. Well, like I say, it would be cool if we could find ourselves some pandas. I mean, are they like incredibly rare or something? Or do they just flat out not generate in this biome yet? Like, are they not being added to the snapshot? Oh, dude, that is so cool. That is honestly so cool. Oh, my word. Okay, come on, come on. Let's, let, let's not gush too much about how great new biomes in Minecraft are. We have a mission, guys. We have a mission to find the pandas. Yes, yes, find the pandas. Hey! Something keeps making noises like something's breaking. I don't understand. Anyways, uh, let's keep going. Uh, nothing around here. No little wee pandas. I want to find the pandas because you can get those ones that sneeze rather like that old panda viral video and they scare the rest of the pandas away. It's hilarious. What is that noise? Is that the noise of these things growing or something? I mean, I can only assume so, right? Wow. Okay, right. Oh, wow. This is a really cool section of terrain. Like, this is... This is prime building territory. This... Oh, there's even vines on the wall. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. This is super sick. Like, look at this. You can build an entire little kingdom in here. This could be an amazing starter base for season two. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. Okay, right. I think a cool idea might be to uh, try and visit this thing or see it from the sky. Oh my goodness. That is screenshot for the thumbnail. Oh, dude. That is super awesome! <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Oh my word. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not providing very good commentary here, am I? I'm just gushing about how great the new biome is. I mean, come on. You got it, right? You freaking got it, right? Uh, 
Fantastic. All right, guys. I mean, I'm just going to go for a bit of an explore. If we manage to find some pandas on the ground, then that would be fantastic. But I don't know, man. I almost feel like all of this bamboo is limiting the spawning space for them, right? <laughs> Look at this. There's like a tiny, minuscule bamboo jungle on just its own island. <laughs> well, if we ever wanted to play Survival Island within our well, that would be kind of a hilarious thing to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, this biome seems to stretch for ages, dude. Like, honestly, it does. So, oh, uh, okay, ah, okay, well, that, that just took out most of our health. Oh, so I'm going to assume, I mean, it's got to be one of two things. Either they're extremely rare, or they just don't generate in this biome yet. I mean, you know, there's a whole bunch of other things I'd like to know. You know, do they specifically spawn on podzol or grass or sand, or can they can they spawn on all of them? I don't know, man. Oh dear. But anyways, what I'll do is I'll spend a few more minutes having a little bit of a look around. If we manage to find them, amazing. If not, then, I mean, maybe we could see them in a creative world or something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, guys, check it out. I mean, they're not pandas, but we don't have any parrots on this world yet. And you guys were saying we should try and grab ourselves a whole bunch of pets before the seasons end. I mean, I don't have any fish for ocelot, sadly, but I do have these. So... Yeah, let's grab the multicolored one because they're cool. Seriously? What? You just ate 10 seeds? What a pig! What a pig! You are the wrong species, sir! Oh my gosh! I can't believe he just took 10 seeds and doesn't love me. That is just... That is unbelievably rude. Right, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... Okay, these guys have got to be bugged. There's no way! There's no way that is not bugged. You can't eat 15 seeds and not love me, man. That is just rude beyond rude. Good gosh. I mean, I'm, I'm putting all this hard effort in trying to grab all these seeds for you. And you're just like, nah, fam. Nah, fam. Not good enough for me, broski. No, 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 no. Right. Come on. Come on. So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. Oh. Wow. That's a lot of seeds, sir. That is a lot of seeds. That is unbelievable. I can't believe it's a stupid amount of seeds, man. Gosh darn! Ugh. Alrighty, guys. So according to the wiki, apparently pandas are indeed rarer than the other jungle mobs. So they're not going to spawn as often as parrots or ocelots do. But they will still spawn. So it's just a case of, you know, persevering, having a little bit of a roam around and uh, just seeing if we can find them. So there's some more parrots right there. I now have a blue parrot on me as well, by the way. I should uh, probably say that. <laughs> Struggling to get through the forest. Oh, yeah, poor little mites. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Come on, we gotta find these pandas, dude. We gotta find them. And then when we do, we're gonna take down the cowards and then come back with some wheat and then and then try to tame them or something. I don't know, man. Anyway, so yeah, come on. Come on, let's keep at it. Alrighty, folks. So I've been roaming these freaking bamboo forests for a good 20 minutes to 30 minutes in a half an hour. You can't be serious. I was just a I was literally about to give up. Oh my god. Hello? Hi. We found one, guys. Okay. Um. Wait, is it just the one? Oh, man. So it's not even two, so I can't even breed them. Oh, mate. Okay. Well, uh, whatever the case, we found ourselves a panda, guys. Hello. Do you not make a sound or anything? Hey, buddy. Would you like, would you like some bamboo? Uh, are you going to nom it? You're going to nom on it? I don't even know how they work, to be honest with you. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. Yo, they're actually nomming on it. Oh, no way. Yo, that is so sick. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I've just learned how to make them friendly. Oh, the sounds as well. Oh my god, I'm in love. Hang on, I'm in love. Let me go to sleep real quick. We're going to make it daytime again. That guy's having the time of his life. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh. Now nah, fam, that is that right there is the oh, that right there. That is that is definitely screenshot for the episode. Oh my gosh. Hey buddy, you want another one? How many more can you have? There you go. Oh. <laughs> That is so cool. 
Oh, I wish I had a leash on me, dude. Right, I've got to take down the coordinates because these guys are, like, absurdly rare. They really are. They are insanely, insanely rare. I would almost say that they're a little bit too rare for my particular liking. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Guys, we found one. We got the coordinates for it. So if we manage to come back here, then we should be able to lure this guy back in some way, shape or form, right? We could put him in his own little custom bamboo forest and then, uh, you know, go at it that way. And if we manage to find a second one, then yeah, we'll be in for a good time. Yeah, not bad. Okay, yeah. Anyways, yeah, like I say, we're just going to take down the cords right there. Uh, we're going to keep the bed there just because I feel like it's a good idea. Oh, that's so cool, though. He's so friendly. He's so lovely. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, we finally found one, guys. I'm so happy. Oh, my word. Okay, so there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys in today's episode, and that is the loom, which is probably... One of the more cooler things, I mean, obviously, pandas are the coolest thing, let's just be frank here. The bamboo forest is also very, very cool. Uh, the crossbows are very, very cool as well. But guys, I would like to make a loom, because I want to show you guys the new UI system for creating custom banners, because it's kind of amazing. It really, really is. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Flora Valley. We've got our two parrot pets here, which is kind of fantastic. And guys, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a loom. Now, apparently, you can do this... Uh, just by doing this. Very, very simple. So two of any planks and then two bits of string will give you the brand new loom. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of dies. I've got some banners made here just to uh, show you guys some examples. So I'm going to put it down here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so it brings up this UI here, right? So obviously, we've got this little slot here. We'll go ahead and put a, a, a banner in. I'm not entirely sure what this bottom section is for. That's one thing I can't tell you guys. I'll have to figure that out a little bit later down the line. But anyways, you go ahead, you put your die in the second slot there. And as you can see, guys, you can actually go ahead and add in your own patterns rather like this. And it only ever takes one die. So let's say we wanted to have a gradient. We could just put that on real quick. It could be super, super easy. So let's say we want the top half of the gradient to be red. Uh, and then maybe the bottom half could be blue. Yeah, look at that. So there we go. We've got ourselves a white banner with a red and blue gradient. Pretty cool, right? And then if we wanted to add something else to it. Ooh. Ooh, we could really make some uh, cool looking things. Ooh, but then again, look at that. That's a nice looking, that's a nice looking banner. Okay, so let's say we wanted to put like a red decoration on it, like a red dot or a red diamond or something like that. Uh, we could put some uh, decorations on the top and bottom. In fact, you know what? Maybe some, maybe some blue dye at the top and bottom. Yeah, you see? It's super simple. It really, really is, guys. Uh, it's honestly... I think this is an amazing addition to Minecraft 1.14. It wasn't even announced as a feature that was going to be in 1.14. They just decided to add it. So it's kind of amazing. So again, put the die in there. And let's say, I mean, you could put a cross in there. You could do that. That almost looks like the Scottish flag to me. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we could put like a circle in the middle or a diamond or whatever. Whatever floats your boat, guys. Whatever floats your boat. Now, here's what I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if there's still that limit as to how many things you can put on. So, uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, there is. Okay. So, as a result, we've now completely filled this thing up. It's still six layers. It's still limited to six layers. But it's so much easier to create your own banners, guys. It really, really is. So, there we go. My first ever banner that I created myself. Now, the reason why I never created banners before is because the system was just a little bit too complicated for my, for my small brain to remember how everything works. So... The fact that they've added the loom in is super, super amazing. So, Mao Yang, good job. Seriously, good job. That is a really, really amazing addition. And I'd love to see more things like that in the future. I really would for maybe other, thi other things that need remembering, but people can't remember for the most part. Like, this is a great start. It really is. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Now, of course, we've got the comment question of the video, which actually comes from a fellow Minecraft YouTuber called The Mythical Sausage, who says, Python, so glad to have you back. The Minecraft universe wasn't the same without you. Hey, man, I really appreciate that. I really, really do and just to once again say a massive a sorry for not being around uh you know for the last few weeks like i say uh personal stuff uh getting in the way uh life basically and uh yeah secondly i just want to thank you for all of your patience and all of your continued support throughout the videos like even the last video despite the fact <laughs> That uh, I haven't been around for such a long time. You guys just came back in your forces and you showed an insane amount of support. 
even despite the fact that I was away. So I honestly do truly appreciate all of your guys' support throughout these videos. Like, honestly, it means the world to me, more than you guys could possibly know. So, you know, a big salute to you guys. A bit, uh, well, I can't salute. There's no, there's no blocking with swords anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a nice little look at the 1.14 features, then uh, please do be sure to, uh, you know, let me know with a like rating. It'll mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. And if you guys want me to check out some more of the 1.14 features in maybe the next episode or something, then uh, let me know. Let me know with a suggestion in the comments area below uh, whether or not you want me to uh, check out some more features. Uh, we checked out the crossbow, the, the new biome, the pandas and of course the loom in today's episode so yeah hopefully you guys learned a thing or two i certainly did it was kind of amazing actually but yeah thank you so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode